Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import purchase orders from text or Excel files into QuickBooks Point of Sale using Z axis. So before I do that, let's just take a quick look at a purchase order in Point of Sale. So here you can see the detail of a purchase order that's been entered in. So you've got a vendor and you've got some items and quantities that have been ordered. So what I'm going to do now is take a text file that contains multiple rows of purchase orders and import that directly into your QuickBooks point of sale file. So I've opened Z axis on the desktop and now I'm going to connect to my QuickBooks point of sale file. So select QuickBooks point of sale and click connect. So when we've successfully connected, click on the import tab and I'm going to browse to the file that contains the purchase orders that I want to import. So this is a file that I've created and it's a text file it contains multiple rows of a purchase order. So you can see it here. The first row contains the column header and underneath that contains repeating rows of purchase order data. Now, we provide templates like these on our website, so if you do need some of these, you can download them from the support article. I'm going to create a mapping. And what this will do is map these columns to the corresponding fields in the point of sale file. So I select the transaction type as purchase order. And I can go through and match the fields in the QuickBooks point of sale to the columns in my import file. So once I've matched as many as I can, and the important ones being the fields marked in yellow, which are mandatory required to create a purchase order in point of sale. When you're mapping, if you need assistance with working out what the fields are and what is expected, if you click on this blue link here, It'll take you to a web page support article on our website, which contains detailed descriptions of the fields, and also where they appear in QuickBooks point of sale. That give you some assistance in creating your maps for the first time. So back in Z axis, I give the mapping a name and I'll save that mapping so that we can use it on subsequent imports. Now you'll see in this import grid, only the fields that we've mapped are displayed and only the data that we've brought into QuickBooks is shown here. Now the final step in the process is to click the import button. Access will validate the data and we'll begin the import process. And there it's completed. Two purchase orders have been imported into point of sale. You'll get a summary down the bottom here. If any errors have occurred, you'll also have an error message displayed. So you can go back and correct the data and reattempt the import. So let's have a look in QuickBooks point of sale to see what we've just imported. So you can see here now that the two purchase orders that we imported are successfully showing here. So in summary, that's how you can take purchase order data held in a text or Excel file and import into QuickBooks point of sale using Z axis.